so we got our little watercolor set and I got some brushes this brushes um, they're not very expensive but they're not also so cheap but you can find them they're fine they're mostly for acrylic but they work good for watercolors I like them they're way more softer sometimes the watercolor brush that you get I don't know there's something weird about it I don't like it and then I found this uh, 99 cent store maybe and you'll find weird things and you can use them this one's really soft so it'll work with that the only problem is this since they're 99 cent stuff I'm waiting for it to dry uh, I glued it back because it came off and a lot of the, even the good ones all right ones they come off if you have them too much in your water so so those are the some of the things that I want to show you you know maybe maintain how important it is because this or whatever I'm going to show you with watercolors it applies to acrylics and then even to some some in, like somewhere down the line it applies also to some oil painting um but I want to start with you know it's a tool it's a brush and uh, what we want to do is we don't want to let it dry we don't want to let it dry with paint we don't want to let it dry with in any kind of material glue whatever it is because then these the, some of these brushes are really soft like this one that I found at the 99 cents is really soft they're really soft and you want to keep them like that and the longer they are used and cleaned very well they stay nice and soft and they work good so keep your brush always wet you know and um you might want to have a little rag on the side or something so you could constantly do this clean your brush don't have it too wet because you also are going to want to sometimes have your brush super wet or not so wet so we're gonna we're gonna paint a landscape so the most important thing that landscapes have and I have misplaced my ruler but let's get this big one in here will be setting up the horizon and as we tell the kids is you're gonna wanna and for watercolors you don't really wanna be sketching so dark just enough to know where your horizon is at because you, you're not going to be able to come and erase where the, where the pencil marks are at. As long as you can see it, that was too dark. So, we're going to use, usually everybody likes, everybody likes a sunset. So, we'll get some. first is oops I already messed it up right there really paint the top with it's not even paint just put water on it and then um, go back where I where I added um, some yellow you can mix it I showed you in the other one, see now I'm going to bring the red so I can Some of that. 
And um, for watercolors, you really have to have patience. You have to let it dry a lot. Like, wait until it dries before you start adding anything. So what I do is, you can wait it out, start doing the painting. Um, I have a heat gun, so I'm going to grab that. And, uh, With that tape, quick and simple drawing, nothing so advanced. It's more for those who want to start practicing, learning, especially the kids. I teach this to the kids because it's simple and and uh, like I said. It's very relaxing to paint landscapes and I usually teach him three different kinds since we go through it through every session and different kids I always do a sample and some of them either it's the forest, the mountains, the snow, the desert, you know, you could choose to do whatever you want or you could copy what I've done or how I did it. Sometimes people like following along with others.